Mimi's life stay-at-home wife from almost heaven, West Virginia. And I have my six-week weigh-in on the freestyle program. And I lost 0.8. And my grand total now is 13.4 pounds down. Woohoo! I'm so happy. And I did not get to stay for the meeting, but I have been watching other YouTubers talk about the freestyle habits, creating ha healthy habits. You have the power. Here's how to set up behaviors that can lead to success. So this is probably the reason I didn't stay for the meeting was because my grandson, Rocky, turned 13. And I was helping our daughter, Megan, get his party put together. So I went into where we weigh in. I weighed in. I was happy with 0.8. Down, down 0.8 is great, I think. After six weeks... I think that that is awesome. I've had consecutively had losses throughout the whole time. But I really wanted to stay for this meeting because I think this is a key strategy and be able to uh, kicking the habit of getting into the habit or kicking a habit. So like every day, you get up and you brush your teeth. You go to bed at this generally the same time, or at least I do. Um, you know that you know you take a bath, you put on night clothes, set the alarm clock, brush your teeth, you know, turn on the porch light, lock the doors. It, it, things that you do that are habits are kind of automatic and they really really are so getting in in a habit the word habit might make us think of nail biting swearing in traffic negative or unhelpful behaviors but at its core a habit is neutral simply stated a habit starts as a conscious one-time action that's repeated over time until that behavior becomes an automatic routine so we have a power of a habit book so there's a cue um, I have a habit of we sat at seven o'clock Jeopardy comes on my husband and I love to sit and watch Jeopardy together and usually that is when I want my last snack of the evening so seven o'clock the jeopardy music comes on the tv we set we watch jeopardy we try to answer the questions i go i get like grapes or strawberries or cherries or watermelon or something like that that I can kind of munch on while we're watching Jeopardy. So that is like a little thing that we I have a habit of doing. So habits can be good or habits can be bad, but the powerful thing about all this is that we can create our own habit loop. So I have a habit of allowing dishes to pile up in the sink and then I'm overwhelmed because I have a bunch of dishes to wash. So I'm trying to create a habit where in the morning when I get up, I make my coffee, I wash any glasses that are in the sink from whoever was up. At, I go to bed before everybody else in my family. So there are dishes in the sink that I didn't put there, but they're there. So I will get, I'm trying to get in the habit of 
making coffee while the coffee's brewing i wash up any dishes that are in the sink at that point in the day so that i will not have a pile of dishes so i think that this is a really good uh weekly i'm going to read over it and trying to implement some of these clues and ideas that I can use them in my life. So I'd like to hear what you all, how your way in went. If you would please comment, like, subscribe, and share, that would be awesome. And I love you all so much. We had an awesome birthday party for Rocky. It was so wonderful. The weather was beautiful. He had a great turnout. The kids all had a fun time. They went to the county fair that uh, over in Greene County in Pennsylvania. And they had an awesome time. And then today, my heart was over flooded with joy. My Rocky was baptized and on his 13th his real birthday was today the 12th so I could not be any prouder of him I love him so much and he is such a wonderful grandson he's just an awesome kid so that was my week I had a very big week and then I taught, I taught Sunday school this morning so yeah I just uh, I'm happy with this with this subject this week I'm, I'm going to dive into it and try to get some habit, great habits coming up here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Love you. Bye.